Hello, good evening, and welcome back to Survival Sea Lab. I'm Odie Apparatus. On today's episode, we're going to take another look at our fish breeding. Last time we caught the Neon Tetra, so it should open a lot of options for us for breeding in the future here. And then we'll start heading out for another adventure. So let's get going here. All right, so as I mentioned, we did a little bit of fishing last time, and we caught a Neon Tetra. And I've done a little bit of work on my Shed Aquarium here. As you can see, it looks much different than before. Uh, when I was trying to organize, before my plan was to organize these into genus and have them kind of like displayed on the wall here with just the raw fish, not the live fish. Then I thought, you know what, why, why put the raw fish on the walls? I mean, sure, it'll be easier. We don't have to try to breed all these fish. But um, I thought it'd be cool to have live versions of the fish as the exhibits because it is an aquarium, it's not a museum. So we're going to have live versions of each of the fish stacked inside of these fish tanks we have here. As you can see, we got our Neon Tetras already on display, but we'll need to use those for breeding. So we're not going to have too many in there. Uh, we have our cod over here. Only got five of those. I, I melted down a lot of them. So we're going to we're going to use those for food for the most part because they do provide a lot of food. And uh, yeah, I'm working on expanding the tanks here. So it's a work in progress still. I need a few more factory blocks here. And then, yeah, so we're going to have basically display for each of the fish. I believe this is the correct number. I think I did the math on that. We might need to do a little bit of expansion, but I don't know how it's going to work exactly. But I believe this will be exactly the right number of fish. I need to rearrange this just a little bit, though. Uh, I has, still haven't fixed up our incubator yet. I really want to get, like, a multiple incubators going here at once and get the put into, like, a fish. And then maybe even use a fish sorter and sort them back into their proper spots. That might be really cool if we can do that. Uh, that's, like, that's like some technical stuff, though. I'm going to have to... Do a little work off camera on that, I'm guessing. Uh, but I'll definitely show it off. If I do manage to build a nice sorting system for the fish, I'll definitely show it off on camera. Uh, as I mentioned, I was trying to expand these to get more fish tanks going. I got two over here now, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. We'll have two fish tanks going at all times. But uh, right now, we have some picky fish on our hands. That's part of the problem here. So let me get my jetpack going here, because it is not set, set up again here. Let's get these all set up. I want it to go. No, let's do F. Oh, it's taken. Oh, well. Um, we'll have to fix this quick here. I'm just going to fix some more keybinds here, and then I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. All right, so it's fixed itself. All right, cool. So we got it. Uh, it's still, even though it's taken, it still works. I don't know what it was taken by. I'll fix that off camera, though. Anyways, as I was saying, we got some picky fish on our hands. This fish says it's too cold. It prefers f fresh water, and it's uh, this one is its counterpart. It says it's the same thing. Um, we we're trying to breed before what we we're trying to do with these is breed angelfish. But the recipe for angelfish has actually changed recently. Um, let's take a look here quick. With the new update I said I downloaded last time, uh, the angelfish is actually made... Oops, I don't want cheat mode on. That, that'd be a little bit too easy, I think. Uh, the reason cheat mode is on here is because I'm on a brand new computer. I just built myself a new computer. As you can see, we're running in stunning 1080p now. Uh, we're getting an awesome frame rate. Uh, it's going to be amazing. So, new PC, and that's the reason that everything's kind of brand new to me. I had to rebuy my keys. And uh, yeah, my uh, cheat mode is still on here, but now it should be off. I can make sure it's set off recipe mode. Perfect. Okay, so the recipe mode for our angelfish, as I was mentioning, is uh, a neon tetra plus a damselfish. So we could not even breed the angelfish until now. But in the previous versions, it was like a squid and a damselfish. And now that it's changed, it makes more sense, I think. But um, yeah, so these fish, these damsel angelfish might still work, but we might just want to start from scratch on those because they seem to not like it that it's uh, the temperature of the water. So let's grab some brand new, let's grab some brand new uh, damselfish here. Male damselfish. Oh, we need a female damselfish, I think, though, because all of our, all of our uh, neon tetras are males. And we'll grab one of our new male neon tetras. All right. And we'll pop that in here and see what it says. Now, it's probably going to say the exact same thing, that it's too cold and that they're not happy. Fresh water, too cold. Prefers it to be 18 degrees hotter, and this guy wants it 20 degrees hotter. So the way we do that is with heating upgrades. Now this is an advanced heating upgrade and it will raise the temperature by 5%. There are other heating upgrades we can make that will raise the temperature even further. So ultimate heating upgrade is really what we want here. That's 14 degrees and that will get them closer to where they need to be. We'll still need a couple of these things though. So we'll need to make a couple upgrades before we can even start fish breeding. Um, and then our fish won't be so picky. Over here we have the minnow. And I don't know what his problem is. He says the minnow does not like it because it prefers fresh water. I have the filtrator grade tier one in there, but it still says it doesn't like it. So I'm thinking we might need to make a second filtrator upgrade. And if that's the case, we're going to need to make a lot of these things, which means we're going to need a lot more white pearls to make this. 
Uh, so we're gonna have to think of something down here because our pearls are not producing. Well, they are producing. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Look how many pearls are here. And and the odd thing is, there's not a single white pearl among them. If you're looking through here, I don't see a single one. So that's no good. Uh, let's see how many we have in our thing over here, though. Um, I've been stashing. We have three silver, three white. Oh, we're so close. We just need one more white pearl and we can make another upgrade. And then we can make the advanced filtrator upgrade, the tier two filtrator upgrade and see if that works. It might be that this water is super salty and it just needs a couple upgrades for it to work. I'm not too sure why it's not exactly working there. Um, so maybe we'll have to do fish breeding another time. Otherwise, we can start trying to make some upgrades here, but really the one filtrator upgrade is going to depend upon getting white pearls. And as you can see, there's there's none to be found here. Let's just pop all these out. Oh, wow, OK. One of those was an ender pearl and that just warped me into the wall there. Uh, ender pearls, they always damage you. Even if you're just falling from a small height, they always take a little bit of damage away from you. But uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, you can, you can get ender pearls. It's not a very reliable source of ender pearls, though, from what I understand. But what we're going to do here, actually, is we're going to try making a pearl block. And I heard from one of the commenters on the channel that if I make a pearl block, I'll have to use white pearls for this, unfortunately, so we'll need one more. But if we make a pearl block, I think it's just four blocks of the same kind, um, we can make it so that it will always be white that pops out of that particular one. So let's try this with a black one. We'll put the black pearl right underneath this guy here. Let's just dig the dirt underneath him. Um, let's see. Let's use where's our good old shovel here. I stopped getting fancy names. I got ice. I got excavator. I got shovel and I got old bluesy as my uh, names here. I had I had all the characters from uh, Game of Thrones before and I've lost all those weapons since then. I think the only one I have left is Catelyn, which is my uh, lumber axe. Um, that's the only one I have left from the original set. I think that's right. Old bluesy is uh, doing well. It's a cobalt. It has some luck on it. I got it maxed out with luck. And I got it maxed out with redstone. So pretty much all of the all of the good stuff that I like to have on a pickaxe. Uh, so we'll put our pearl oyster down here, and we'll need a little bit of sand to get it going. I think there should be some in here. Nope. Let's see over here, maybe. What you got? Sand. Awesome. So I'm thinking ahead. Uh, let's put some sand in this bad boy here. Oh, we forgot to put the pearl block underneath him. Shoot, that's the whole point. I dug that out, and then just replaced the dirt right back again. Oops. Oh well, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, God, I'm making a huge mess. Okay, let's put the per black pearl block right here. And what this should do is produce only black pearls for this uh, particular one. Now, that's, that's something we necessarily need, but it's just a test to see if it actually works. Because we can't test it with the white one yet. So as far as our upgrades go, we're probably going to wait till next time to do that. Because we don't have, uh, we really need some fresh water. All of our breeding partners need fresh water. I think that's the only one we can really go with right now. Uh, I'm working on making a flow chart basically to see which direction we need to go with. But it's not quite done yet. Um, I will make that available for everyone. I'll put it online and put it on Reddit as well, I think, once it's available. But uh, it should be pretty cool. I just got to do some research on the, the breeding path here, basically. Uh, the other thing I noticed with our new update to Mary Culture is that titanium is super easy to make now. They did some changes. Let's see. Do I have the book on me? Let's see here quick. Uh, yes. Basic materials and processing. If we take a look at this, before the recipe for magnesium was uh, 1,600 millibuckets of water and 2,400 millibuckets of uh, quick lime, and now it's down to 3,000 and 4,000 millibuckets respectively, and that leaves 2,000 millibuckets of water remaining. So it's a much simpler process. So when I fill this thing up, I put the 1,600 or 16,000 millibuckets in there still, and I just fill it to the brim with quick lime, and it still produces tons of, it's tons, basically it can pr produce uh, over over uh, four ingots at a time now. So it's going to go nice and quickly from now on. Um, so let's, let's get this going here again. So it's making it, made it nice and easy to get titanium now. It's a little less tedious and I appreciate the change quite a bit now because it's made it so we have molten titanium, 14 ingots. Look at that. It's beautiful. And that was only like three or four pulls of this bad boy here to get going. So that's really nice. Let's see how the magnesium or the quick lime is doing. Oh, we're low on quick lime here. Uh, so that's no good. We'll have to throw some in there. Luckily I have some in my pack right now. So we'll throw some quick lime in there. What I also found out is that I previously was using inside these fish feeders, I was previously using uh, these these uh, kinetic upgrades, this hyperkinetic upgrade, and those actually don't do anything from what I understand. The only ones that work are the heating, the purity, um, and like ethereal upgrades and that kind of thing. So we can't we can't use those um, those hyperkinetic upgrades anymore. It seems like inside of those, they'll still fit. I just don't think they'll actually do anything. Uh, let's throw some more rutile ore in here because we have no, we have the right amount. Mm hmm. Okay. So we got uh, molten titanium. I have four ingots on me, so we have plenty of stuff to make new upgrades. And that's good because our advanced heating upgrade here, for instance, is going to require a titanium to make it. 
Our ultimate heating upgrade here is going to require th three titanium, a blaze rod, and more of these heating components. I probably have everything I need to make that, though. So let's go take this over to the, the crafting area. Uh, back to my ME network here. And, oh man, I love the no lag we're getting with this. Uh, I've got a full 30 frames per second. I mean, obviously, I could probably get more if I'm not recording, but I could try to limit it to 30 because it's it seems to be the best for uh, YouTube right now. I know YouTube can now do 60 frames a second, but we're not quite at that level yet. I don't necessarily need to uh, get that high with it. And it's okay. So we got, uh, we need to make more of these advanced heating components. Can we do that? What's the recipe for these bad boys? Um, let's see quick. So, so we'll make this. Can we make more of this? Let's, what are we missing here? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just make all of it. And 58. All right. So we'll make plenty of these heating upgrades then. So we can go advanced heating upgrade. We have the standard heating upgrade on us, right? So we have the advanced. So we need the uh, next level up from advanced would be the ultimate. So we can go like that and go bam. Put the titanium in there where it's supposed to go. So it's titanium, titanium, titanium. Uh, let's see. It doesn't seem to like the... Um, the fact that it's missing the silicon things there. So let's put this in there and see if we can find the heating components. Oh, whoa, get the typing together here. Heat, what? Didn't I just make a bunch of those? Heating component, yeah. Why? Where did they go? Oh, that's why. There we go. All right, throw all those in there. We'll just make them all up here. Not that we need that many, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll probably need a lot of these heating upgrades. So we'll put this in here and we'll actually, we can probably craft a little thing now. Bam. All right. So we got the ultimate heating upgrade. We'll need one more of these bad boys. So for that, we'll need to go start with the basics and work up from there. So we'll go basic and we'll go. Oops. Next one up is the basic, then the standard. And then we'll go from standard to, it's only two degrees. So we'll need to go advanced and we'll need one more titanium in order to get it so we'll go pour some titanium out of our ingot maker there we should probably hook up an ingot caster right to the uh the thing now um so we can just pull out when we need to but uh, we need to be able to i wonder if we could put the ingot caster right below this and it'll pour into it hmm uh it's worth a shot maybe we can try that i'm all for experimentation we'll pull this bad boy out and see what happens Let's see if this works because it might work we're gonna just pull pour right into it that'd be amazing oh it works Oh, that's gonna be much, much better. Look at the speed on this thing. And we got four titanium just like that. So let's take our four titanium triumphantly back to where we got it from. And back to the crafting area. I should really set up a, a network so I can get uh, like a wireless crafting system going on for this thing. That'd be amazing. Let's do that soon. I think really need to, I really need that. That was, it's beyond due for that, I think. Um, let's go like this. It's gonna take a little bit of work, obviously, to do it. Do we not? What are we missing here? We missed the titanium. And do we want to make another ultimate? I think we should probably just make one and see what happens, because we'll definitely need it. So we we'll go like that, and then we have enough temperature to increase it to the correct amount. These guys should be happy with the temperature now. Oh, got an Enderman downstairs here. Uh, how you doing, buddy? How you doing today? Good. Oh, 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 he's angry. He's angry. He's angry. Oh boy. All right. Get away from me, you. All right. So let's try our new upgrades into here. And let's see, 14 degrees plus 14 degrees would be 28. And they don't like fish food and they like fresh water still. Damn it, we're still one thing short. So we still need those pearls to make the uh, the fresh water upgrade. Let's pull the one out of here. Maybe it'll be enough. I don't know why a level one is not working. I mean, I would think that a level one would do it, but uh, for some reason it's not enough. First fresh water. So we definitely need to make the tier two, I guess. Uh, that's the only way around it. What the tier two requires is two filtrator upgrades and a, an aluminum ingot. Not too expensive, but we still need to make a basic purity upgrade, which requires four white pearls, which we need basically need one more white pearl to uh, get that going here. Did I put the sand back in all these? I did. No, I didn't. I thought I did. Oh boy, they're not going to get pearls if we don't put sand back in it. I'm kind of all over the place today. All right, so let's put this all with sand. And actually, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll put the all these with, with sand, and then I'll come back in a little while and see if maybe we can get a white pearl out of the bunch here. Um, once we get that, we'll set it up with a white pearl underneath. Well, first of all, we'll make sure this is producing black pearls. And if it is, then we know that we should make a white pearl block that we can use, which will require our four pearls that we just collected. And then we'll be sure to get lots more white pearls because I'm sure we're going to need them for all the upgrades we'll need to do in the future here. So I'm going to let this go for a minute and then I'll check back in after the oysters have done being populated. And then in the meantime, I'll work on making the second tank over here while I'm off camera quick. 
All right, so I'll be right back after it's all completed with these new pearls here. All right, so I've been down here purling like crazy, and I've got, oh, let's see what I got here. I think I got six now. Let's see real quick. Uh, six, no, six silver, six white as well. Okay, so what I set up is I have a couple white pearl blocks down here. So these will constantly produce white pearls for us. Uh, I'm going to get as many of these as I can down here. I got a couple blue ones because we'll need those for the recipe as well. And a black one here as well. Because just because, you know what? Because that was our first one we tried out. And it worked just nicely there. And then beyond that, I've been purling and I've been titaniuming. Titaniuming? Titaniuming. Uh, Magnesiuming. Uh, like, like crazy down here. And I've gotten 26, 27 ingots of titanium now. So we're going to be set for any project we want to take on in the, in the future here. I got my ingot caster set up so I can do ingot casting instead of doing the individual ones now. I think I might have set that up before the break, though. Uh, so we're going to have all kinds of titanium here. I can get another four here out of there. And we're going to go set up. We're going to grab our pearls. And we're going to go create those heating upgrades so we can start breeding our new fish. Now, what do we want to make first here? Uh, I think goldfish is probably the one we want. Um, so we'll, we'll do that. Let me grab my pearls here. Uh, we'll get the cod and we'll get the uh, white pearls here. We'll get the cod. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I put the cod in this one over here, so we'll need a cod, female cod, okay, let's do that, and then we'll need a minnow, male minnow, and male minnow, okay, so these are going to be our two test species here to see if we can get this to be the right temperature. Um, I'm not going to worry about those damselfish in here, for instance, the damselfish in the antitrust, I could do that, um, but they're still going to need the same upgrades, they're still going to need the tier 2 upgrade, we'll grab that out. Uh, they're the right temperature. Nope, this one needs still needs three degrees up, so we'll need to make another heating upgrade here too. But as you can see, um, I don't know how we can actually do this because uh, it's too oh it's too it's two degrees too hot. Oh my god! All right, two degrees too hot, three degrees too hot, and they don't like the fresh water. So we're not in, we're, we need fresh water, and it needs to be a little bit colder. Oh god, this is this is tough. What can we do about that? Let's let's turn off my jet pack here for a second. Let's look at the heating upgrades from Mariculture again here. Because too hot is a bit of a problem now. Um, but you know what we can do is we can make a cooling upgrade uh, to bring it down by two degrees and then we can be at the perfect temperature. So we get standard cooling upgrade. We'll bring it down two degrees. Let's see, the next level is five degrees. So we'll bring it down two degrees on here and it should make them happy. Oh, they're, they're so close to being happy. Uh, what's a standard cooling degree? So that's one degree. So we need... How can we even do this? We need to have a state. We need to have standard. We would need to have an advanced cooling upgrade, but I think it's going to be too cold then. So they want six degrees plus four degrees plus. If we got a upgrade, that's going to be a heating upgrade for five degrees. Would that be enough? I don't know if that's going to be in the range to make him happy because he needs six and the next range up makes it way too hot. Mm. And fresh water is another issue. So we might not even be able to read fish down here. That's unfortunate. We might have to go to the correct biome because, I mean, this is a bit complicated, but we, we might not be able to actually do it down here. It'd be much easier to just go take these fish to the right biome, but we're going to have to go back and check on them constantly. God, that's that's really not something I want to do. I'd rather have it down in my aquarium down here. That's really where I want things. What can we breed that's going to be easy enough that we don't have to worry too much about temperatures? Okay, so we need to do, we need to do the, the uh, goldfish here first, I think. That's what first we need. We need a cod. And a minnow. And let's put those in here. See what they need exactly. Uh, let's see. He needs fresh water for sure. I know that much. Um, let's see. The temperature for them says, okay, he prefers fresh water. And it's all we need. So we just need fresh water. Let's pop this in there. Not quite enough. It might be that the tank is too big. Uh, the tanks do need to be certain sizes. And it might be too big for this particular breed that we need to use the tier 2 upgrade. It's surprising because this is pretty seems pretty small to me. Um, I made a second tank over here. Because certain fish we're going to breed here are going to need a big, big tank with tons of water in it. So this is the one I made for our uh, more advanced fish down here. Um, hopefully it's not too big. Again, I don't know what the how the, uh, the, the fresh water upgrades and that kind of thing are necessary to work with that. If it's based on uh, tank size, uh, we'll have to look into that. I couldn't find anything in the books for it. So we'll have to just experiment. And on the plus side, at least it tells you what they want. Um, this guy needs fresh water. Now, if I make it fresh, though, is this guy going to be mad because he wants prefer salt water? I just don't know if this is going to work how exactly how we want it to. So anyways, let's go make our filtrator upgrade here. We got the first one, right? No, wait, where did we put that? We should grab that out. Filtrator upgrade. Is it should be in here still? Where did it go? I had it, didn't I? Oh, you know what? It's inside of that one over there. Let's head over to this side. I put it in with the damselfish and now the, the cod over here. So we'll make the tier two. 
and see if that does the trick. We have the means, we have the technology, we have the pearls, we can we can do this. And we'll go like this, and go like this, and we got the tier two. Okay, let's see if this does the trick for us. Uh, if not, we'll try making the tank smaller, and maybe that'll do the trick. They might they might all of a sudden start complaining that the tank's too small at a certain point, though. So let's see if we can at least breed to get goldfish, because that's the important step here. But again, we might need to just move this whole operation someplace else. So no fish food, no fish food. Everybody's happy. Somehow, he doesn't care about fresh water or salt water. He just wants some food, man. He's just hungry. So let's grab our fish food in here. Yeah, 60. Oh my god, we got so much in here. Let's let's grab just like 16 of that. That'll be plenty, I think. Uh, cod do not live very long, from what I remember. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, he's got a lifespan epic, and he's got like oh, that's right. Minnows don't live very long. All right, let's pop some fish food in there, and they're going to work. They're doing their thing. Let's give them some privacy here, and we'll check back, and hopefully we'll get some goldfish pretty soon. What I want to do for this rest of this episode is I managed to discover a. If I can open up my maps. Oh, come on, maps. Come on, maps. All right, let's hold on a second here. There we go. Got our maps. Okay, so we got our waypoints. Oh, my waypoints are gone. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're just going to go on a blind expedition here because I've managed to find a roguelike dungeon. And I think it's a roguelike dungeon anyways. Um, Hold on. Let's, let's, let's gear up here. I think it's a roguelike dungeon. It's a giant tower. It's white. Uh, I found it in the middle of nowhere here. I... Hopefully I can find it again, man. I, I had a marker for it, but I, as I mentioned, I switched computers now. And so my markers are gone. I can see if I can recover a backup file if we can't find it. All right, so I think I got the coordinates copied over here in the, the map file. I, I think, let's see, moment of truth here. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, wait, we got the tower back. Awesome. So we'll enable that one. We'll turn this one off. And it all came back. Oh, I can't believe that worked. All right, cool. I was kind of suspect of it, but now that it's back, hopefully we can figure out where we're headed. Um... Now the problem is it only works for, you can only see it about a thousand feet away, but it does look like there's a marker on the map in this direction. Northwest is what I thought, and it seems to be what it is. So we'll head that way and see what we can find. Uh, I'm all tooled up pretty much. I got everything I need to take on whatever might find. What? Oh, a speedboat. Hey, I was looking for this guy. I keep losing these things. Uh, this one I lost a long time ago when I first came to this one island here. Oh, come back here. Alright, so worst case scenario, we've got a speedboat. Uh, always good to have a speedboat. Anyways, we're gonna head over here to the direction it seems to be. I don't know how far away it is. We can't quite see the marker on the map yet, and we can't see anything at the moment. There we go. Now, the one thing I do notice is that even though I'm getting a lot of pop-in from the, the world loading, it does seem to be holding up as far as frame rate goes pretty well here. No, I'm not appreciating that on the new computer here. Quite liking it, despite all the difficulties of you know, try and record and get everything set up properly. Uh, we've got everything we need though set up, I think. Hopefully we can get this uh, episode completed here. All right, we're close, just over this ridge. Down here. The world's still loading. There it is. So that is what I saw when we came up through here. Uh, I have no idea what might be inside of it. Uh, I think it might be part of the roguelike dungeon mod, but I'm not exactly sure. We'll uh, check it out here quick. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh, it's got stairs going down. How far do they go, though? Come on. Wow, it's going deep. Oh. What have we here? Oh, you know what? This might just be regular, uh... Minecraft Stronghold? No, this... Minecraft Strongholds don't have brick like that. Oh, we are someplace else altogether. This is something completely new. Alright, so... Next episode, we are going to explore this place till our heart's content. Uh, I have no idea what to expect from it, but let's make a little outpost outside, and that way we can respawn. I'll put the bed out there, and we can respawn here if we do die or something like that. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. Stranger things have happened, so we'll see what happens here. Uh, I've been Modi. Thank you for watching another episode of Survival Sea Lab. I'll be back with exploring this dungeon here next time. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you back for more next time. Have a good night.